Ahoy, fellas. Boy, am I proud of myself. I caught myself before starting the video and playing through however long of this game without actually changing the, uh, oh, Mina? Without actually changing the uh, perspective to actually be recording Iconoclasts, which would have been terrible. You know, I would have had to play the game again. Um, and I, I don't think I would actually have been able to do that because the, uh, I have been using the same, oh, jeez. That's, uh, yeah, so that's what happens to the people that fail, huh? Um, I've been using the same save file for, uh, okay. I, yeah, this really is just something that I, I have to witness to get the key, huh? Oh, right, that must be, yeah, that's just, you know, it's like putting your, the key to your house on your doormat. You just, you know, just leave it in the, uh, you know, bone pit. What's that smell on you now? Oh, let's not talk about that, all right, Mina? I think that would only upset you if you've seen what I've seen. There's a reason that I don't talk anymore. Dear God. Um. But yeah. Oh, hey, it's Royal. He's surrounded by purple stuff. You again? Yes. Hey, hey, hold on. Oh, dang, Royal's not feeling too well. I figured that uh, this game is as ideological as it is. I, uh... Oh, the room saps you. Well, it's interesting. Um, maybe I could actually read the dialogue and respond to the ideology. But it, it seeps out in a non-uniform manner. Um, exactly kind of the way you would expect. I've been skipping a lot of the dialogue in this game, and honestly, I'm not... You don't really miss much, because the story is interesting, kind of, but it's, it's, like, the story is somewhat divorced from the platforming, there's nothing that I need to know about this, you know. We need to tell someone, through seeds and sand, we can beat the heck out of the white people. Yeah. Anyways, Royal, are you coming along? You should come with us. I wonder if I can do that. Wouldn't that have been interesting? It'd have been a cool thing to do, right? Anyways, fine, sit here. Friggin' moron. The door's open, pal. But you can't walk no more, seeping away your power to be able to walk. Mm hmm. You try, uh, you still have mines in the tower, right? I should tell you how to use them against the machines later. Okay, cool. Um, oh. Hey, it's Royal! He actually decided to come back, I guess. Is he even gonna talk to us? I guess not. He's doing his, his superhero exit, I guess. Why didn't close his door? We, we can't even close doors, I Mina. Mean, you've seen me walk through half these doors. They either close on their own or they just stay open. It's kind of amazing that like people get around without mechanics or giant wrenches. Do not put free electricity or exposed ivory near them. Well, that... Um, like these? I don't know what they're talking about. I feel like that uh, disclaimer could have been um, better placed. Yeah. Well, oh well, at least I know where I'm going now, which is to say to the very right of the building. Since I have nothing... God, I love this gun. <laughs> Big gun. Um, stop, honestly. But, yeah, I may or may not have my individualized responses to certain ideological qualms within this game, but I don't honestly remember a lot of it. It seems to just be kind of a typical, um, authoritarianism bad, but I can agree with. It's kind of weird, um, you know, like, not like, bad weird, but, uh, in the typical, not even in a typical sense, just, um, gotta remember how exactly it goes. It seems to be the case that it's a, uh, normality bad kind of thing, you know? Um, 
something of that nature. Uh, you know, conformity bad. Which I can agree with, since I'm a weirdo, but, you know, I wouldn't say that, like, entirely society bad or anything like that. Well, whatever. I suppose this isn't something that I really need to be talking too heavily on, since, again, I it's been a while since I actually read through the dialogue in this game. We're going to the moon! I think. Uh, yeah. Someone said Royal was taken away? He was merely late for an important event and was rushed to it. Oh, yeah, an important event in a room that seeps his powers. How about that? Chrome, speak to your shoulders. 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 Speak to your shoulders. Exposed shoulders. This guy... Sheesh. He looks like the main villain in uh, Season 2 of Demon Slayer. Ha 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 ha. From the neck down, at least. Anyways, there's a time where we must first give sacrifice so that we, together we can achieve greatness. Uh, Chrome is quite an intriguing character. I don't know if he's like severely incompetent or not. He seems to be severely incompetent and very ideologically driven. Whereas you have Agent Black who believes the ideology, the ideology less so than just being in power, which is odd. Not really odd so much to say, but you know. It's a vessel meant only for mindless children to leave you behind and to die from a tragedy Royal has brought upon you. What's he talking about? Angered the almighty him, and he has come to answer his sin. The royalty has only brought you doom, but I bring you a solution. Chrome is the modern prophet. He fancies himself, it seems to be. Uh, yeah, isn't that interesting? Follow me, I'll have a dialogue with Mother. Save the good people here and elsewhere. The Black seems to understand that this is all something of a ruse, power grab kind of thing, whereas Chrome is actually entrenched in the ideology and believes this to be a righteous people are saved kind of deal. But no. It is better that we have ignorant masses to control. Anyways, what a guy. He'll probably be back. Got away from him, Agent Black. <laughs> Dear gosh. Agent Black, something's going on, pal. You're gonna have to figure this crap out. Oh boy! Attack of the clones, anyone? <laughs> uh, good times. Anyways, we did it, guys. We did it all the way over here. Is that of any benefit to us? Good question. I have no clue. Wee 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 wee. Um um um. Let's see here. Aha! Something for me to latch on to. Aha! Something else for me to latch on to. Alright, that seems pretty good. And now I can. Uh, I don't know what the heck went through my head right then. Alright, we're doing it, guys. We're platforming. We are, in fact, gaming. I know everybody loves it when I say that. Everybody had such a great response to the millions of times that I've said that before. Like, I'm honestly surprised that I don't have 20 million whatevers. Just because, like, let's be honest here. I'm such an epic, epic gamer that, um, I ought to just stop talking while I'm not ahead, but in kind of a middling position, you know? <sighs> hey, look, the door's open. Yeah, how about that? What an intriguing puzzle. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm not going to lie. On the next episode, perhaps we will get further into the uh, qualms to have with deeply illogical authoritarian organizations without a truthful basis behind them. But of course, I'll probably end up shooting myself in the foot through speaking about such things. Maybe. Who knows? I don't really care. It's probably interesting more so than the actual game itself. So... 
Well, that's the game plan for next time. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will um, surround you with numbers of soldiers, uncountable, and have them fire upon you at will. <laughs> Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.